Okay, we are back. <laughs> Thank you all for your patience. I am back now. Can everyone see me? I see Constantine is here. Christine is here. Marina is here. Okay, awesome. So you guys can all see me, yes? You can all hear me? I'm back now. If you want to just put something in there that says, I'm back, that would be great. Awesome. So nice to see everyone. So we're going to get started. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. Okay. So welcome everyone to the 10K and 30 day sales mastery training class. And over the next 60 minutes or so, you're going to hear some really specific tools as well as structure that I've been fortunate enough to learn and develop and implement. Um, and what this has really mean for, meant for me and for my clients and the people that I work with is an unprecedented amount of clarity, confidence, and cash flow. And following that, really having freedom, the freedom to travel, right, to take your business uh, and really be free and do whatever you want to do with it. You know, once you master the sales process, the sky is the limit. And um, the other thing that happens when you master the sales process is really owning your truth it's like stepping into your passion your purpose it's like you really walk your talk so um this feeling of fulfillment of knowing that you're walking on the right path this is also um you know what happens as a result of mastering the sales process so uh, we've got a lot to cover today it looks like we've got some more people coming on thank you all for um, hanging on with me here with the tech glitches. I am here. It's so nice to see you all. Um, and I just want to make sure again that everyone can really see me and hear me. Awesome. Awesome, guys. Hey, Veronica. So nice to see everyone. Okay. So um, here's what's going to happen tonight. You are all going to have access to a very specific recipe called my sales attraction secret system. It's guaranteed to generate over at least $10,000 a month in 30 days or more. And I'm actually being moderate about this system because many of my clients do much more than that. Um, this morning, for example, Lisa posted in our group, I have a 10K in 30 day challenge. And I woke up this morning and I see this message and I'll read it to you. It says, hey all, well, I'm here with a celebration. I signed up to work with Vanessa around mid-October when I was feeling really stuck and unmotivated about my business. It was such a big money in my business business and myself, as I know it has been for many people in this group. However, I just signed a deal. I signed off on a deal to run a year-long leadership program for the pricey sum of 37,200 pounds. Boom. So, you know, these are the kind of results that you can expect when you have this system. I'm going to teach you this recipe in place. Uh, so guys, the sky is the limit. So if you're thinking, you know, well, it's $10,000, you know, that's nothing. Well, you know, it's really, it's, it's not so much the amount, but it's really the system. And, and what that does is it really allows you to um, get your services out there in the world in a big way, to impact people in a big way, and also impact your bank account. And um, that's really how you boost your confidence. Your confidence gets built. So if you've been looking for a way to attract clients, and not just attract clients, but really get some clarity around your message and why it's important to have a clear message, um, and really have more confidence around, you know, selling your services, then you're going to get a lot out of tonight's training. So uh, there's a ton of stuff, a ton of blocks around sales. We touch so much of our own self-worth when we're in sales. So get ready to um, take a lot of notes tonight. And specifically what you're going to learn, what I've promised, three biggest mistakes that entrepreneurs make with offers that leave thousands of dollars on the table and exactly what to do about it. I'm going to cover two of my best and proven methods for generating ideal leads and turning those conversations into clients and cash flow. And then I'm also going to talk about mindset. And this one little mindset shift that if you if you implement, if you take on, it will absolutely explode your results and your ability to take action, no matter how much fear or self-doubt or confusion and procrastination have been preventing you in the past. And I'm really going to be sharing some uh, as many mindset nuggets um, and systems that I can with you in the short amount of time that we have together to really help you rock your sales success. So um, I want to start off by celebrating you and thanking you, you know, for being here today. So pat yourself on the back for showing up and being here with me live because 
you know what, showing up is 90% of success. So I'm gonna celebrate you for being here. I'm also gonna invite you to turn off your cell phone, turn off the Wi-Fi, and really be here. Give yourself this time to you know soak up these uh, nuggets. Um, grab a tea or coffee, and also stick around to the end because I have $2,000 worth of cash prizes. Yes, yes, live cash prizes right here on the call, so make sure you're here live until the end. And I'm also going to sweeten the pot a bit I'm going to give you guys an ethical bribe to help me share my message. So um, if you would share this message on Twitter or on Facebook right now that you're on this webinar with me, I will gift you something awesome. I will gift you um, an 18 uh, minute video that talks all about how to network, how to attract clients at networking events, what do you say to them. Um, how does it work? How do you schedule in sales calls? How do you really make networking work for you? So I get this question a lot. I cover it uh, in my training, and I'm going to gift you this video training that I made for my group. Uh, it's not even available to the public yet, so you guys are going to be the first to see it. And it details exactly what to say when you go to networking events, how to talk to people, how to how, what do you do? You know, do, you, do you take people's cards? My simple system for you know, generating clients in cash flow from networking. So I'm going to gift you that. Um, and if, what you want to do is just grab this link that I put here uh, inside the chat box. You can tweet it, you know, tag me or Facebook it, tag me, and I will see you. I know everybody who's on here. I've got your email addresses, so I will send that video to you as a thank you for helping me share this message. Because sales, you know, nothing happens until the sale is made. So. I also want to thank everyone who posted questions beforehand. I love these. Uh, you know, Tara asked me how to grow sales without being pushy. I have no natural affinity for sales, but I'm very personable, so I prefer to influence with a soft approach. And I also work full time, so how do I balance building a business? How do I align it all? Great question. We're going to cover that. Also, objections and competitive wheeling and dealing, someone asked me. So I love questions. Please do post your biggest questions, your biggest grr that you have right now about sales. Maybe it's about objections here inside the Q&A box. We will be doing live Q&A at the end of the webinar. So please post your questions here. And as you're you know, listening and tuning in, um, and you, maybe you might hear something that's really awesome, I'm going to encourage you to just take note at the timing of it and mark that down because I will be giving it a replay. I've had a lot of people request it. So, <clears throat> you know, if you're listening and you're like, boom, this is such a, you know, a, a nugget of info, I want to, you know, go back and listen to that. Just jot down the time uh, in the webinar. And then when you listen to the replay, you can go back and find it really easily. Awesome sauce. Okay. <clears throat> so nice to have you all here. Desiree's like, yeah, looking forward to see to, to this. Thank you so much. Oh, awesome. Oh, thank you guys. It's so nice to have you here. Okay, so really quickly, many of you know me on this webinar, some of you don't, so I will start with my story. You know, today I am coming to live here from Kauai, Hawaii. It is a beautiful sunny day. There is a mango tree outside my window with tons of mangoes on it. I'm in a little dress. I most of the time wear a little bikini and uh, I have an amazing life. I'm a best selling author. My first book was called From Bankrupt to Making $900 a Day Selling Mops. It's a true story. Uh, and my second book, Take Your Power Back Now, um, which just came out last week on Amazon, became a number one bestseller. So uh, my, my work is really all about empowering and inspiring people. I'm a retreat leader. I just hosted my first women's spiritual business building retreat here on Kauai. It was an amazing experience. Uh, I'm a speaker and a coach. I coach mostly about confidence and cash flow strategies. Some people call me the bikini business coach. I do not sell bikinis, but I can teach you how to run your business out of one and you know really create a lifestyle that you love. Um, so... I speak, I coach, I mentor internationally. I've done a TED talk on success, and um, and I love my life. You know, I get to be here in Hawaii. I work in the mornings. I create my my schedule in the afternoons. I go and I play. You know, I go hike to waterfalls, or I take my dog to the beach, or I go paddle boarding, um, or just soak up the sun and be in the beautiful mana of Hawaii. And um, and I get to travel. You know, I take a trip usually to the mainland I get to go to the most amazing events you know I never look at prices I go to the grocery store I buy what I want I, I eat organic food I take really good care of my health and I'm able to do that because um, you know I have the systems in place that generate cash flow every month like clockwork and so um, my life was not always like this you know I had a very different experience 
experience. And uh, that's really why I wanted to create this webinar for you is to share with you, you know, these processes. So, you know, rewind a couple of years ago, I was stuck in a job that quite literally nearly killed me. It was that job selling mops. I was a live demo girl. I would, you know, travel across the country and I would cry every day going to, I knew that it was not my passion. It was not my purpose. I was like, God, are you kidding me? You, you know, am I supposed to sell mops for the rest of my life? And I would cry on the way to work because I would have to leave this beautiful sanctuary in the woods where I lived and I would travel for three days in my car and I was working for someone else and I really felt like they owned my ass, you know, like, and I hated it. I grew to really hate it. I was really good at it. You know, I was making $900,000 a day some days. So I made less than $500 a day. I was upset with myself, but I was terrified that I knew so much and I was learning so much and I had so much to give the world. I didn't really know how to start or launch my coaching or consulting business. And I, I didn't really believe that I could make as much money um, coaching or consulting business like, as I could in the job. And so I stayed there and, um, you know, I discovered how to release all that internal resistance. I hosted a telesummit and, you know, discovered how to really take apart my mind and the blocks and the resistance and the fear and not let it stop me. And amazing things happened. I was invited to teach in Costa Rica. I was invited to do a TED talk and I later moved to Hawaii and here I am. So, um, you know, just so you know, wherever you are, you know, is the perfect place and you can start from here. And um, so, you know, if you're a coach or a consultant or a wannabe coach or a consultant, if you're a thought leader or a wannabe thought leader, this right now is the best time to do this. It's the best time to get in, into this business, the best time to do what's knocking on your heart. Why? Because it's knocking on your heart. That's why. And you wouldn't be attracted to it. You wouldn't be attracted to this webinar, um, you know, if it wasn't the right time for you. So people need you people need your help they need you and your your job right now is just to get really really good at helping people say yes to that transformation yes to that experience with and you know i'm i'm in the camp of freedom 35 i'm not one of these people who you know wants to you know save for a rainy day when i'm 55 years old you know or you know buy have coupons here i hate coupons Right? I'm one of these people who wants it all now and I will go out and, you know, I've been learning these things, everything I can in terms of mindset, sales and marketing, you know, all of that. I've been like, a, like you know, really on this mission to soak up as much as I can to create a life you love because I don't buy into this you know, social stigma that you've got, to, you know, RRSPs and all this. I mean, maybe for some people, but I want to live now. I don't when I'm 60 years old and who knows if I'm gonna have nice legs when I'm 60 years old you know who knows if I'm gonna have my health when I'm 60 years old I probably will because I'm healthy but you know this whole idea of like putting your life on hold until later it's like no right now right right now is the best time for you to show up and say yes to that transformation to say yes to your business to say yes to that that inner urge to do more why because it's happening right now um so, so let's get started with the training because there's a lot I want to cover with you. We're going to talk about freedom, cash flow, having impact, and really creating the lifestyle that you love and the fulfillment that comes from that. That's what is really at the end of how. Um, and for a lot of my clients, it's actually about living their purpose. You know, really being able to have, you know, confident sales conversations at work. You know, that's when the transformation happens. Is until then. So it's a real key here and a big part of the puzzle. So. Um, Let's get started. Three of the biggest mistakes entrepreneurs make with their offers that leave thousands of dollars on the table and exactly what to do about it. So biggest mistake number one is that entrepreneurs just don't make offers. <laughs> Have you ever done this? You've gone and done a workshop talk or maybe you've you know, gone to a you know, networking event and you haven't really offered your services. You talk about, well, I'm going to be doing this in the future, but you don't really make an offer. You do all this work, you have a nice website, but you don't make an offer, right? And so, you know, usually entrepreneurs are focused on the 5,000 other things that they should get done, like their website and their business cards and their social media, and I got this photo shoot, but they're not focusing on the one thing that's going to generate cash flow, and that's so important. Why? Because when you have cash flow, you can then invest in systems. When you have cash flow, then you have confidence. But until until you start, right? And there's if you're working so hard and there's no money coming in, you know, it's really hitting your confidence. It's a very dangerous place to be in your business. 
um, not making offers. And you know, if you're not making offers, it really is the number one thing you need to focus on. Stop doing everything else and make offers. And so, what prevents you from making ten thousand dollars this month? And just let me know, you know, if if any of this sounds familiar. So I know from the clients that I work with, you know, what prevents them from, you know, showing up and making offers is fear of being visible, right? They have major visibility blocks. Their fear of being a fraud. You know, they don't think that they're good enough or that they're not ready yet. And just type in the question Q and A box if you know if any of this hits home for you. Um, maybe you know it's, I've got too much stuff swimming around in my head and I'm overwhelmed at exactly what to implement or how to implement it. Um, they're stuck in this learning without ever earning mode, right? You take a course after a course after a course after a course, uh, not having a clear message or not knowing what to sell or how to talk about their services that really engages their ideal clients. Some of them have a low self-worth program running in the background, right? The story that, you know, you need to over deliver that you have enough value to people. Not owning your value, charging too little, working too hard or not knowing how to handle sales objections without sounding pushy, not having an idea, but really how do you market yourself authentically, right? This is a big thing. If I go out and sell myself, I'm gonna be this like used car salesman. Or, you know, maybe they're really frustrated because, you know, I see people trying to make, you know, $10,000 a month, but they're trying to sell $200 or $197 little packages or one-off coaching sessions. It really doesn't work. Perfectionism, right? Trying to get everything just right until, you know, when I have it right, then I'll, you know, just need to get this, you know, my website right and just have to get my business cards ready. And it's like this constipation, right? The sales constipation. Um, or maybe, you know, you, you, you made a mistake somewhere in the past and, you know, that's really preventing you from committing again and showing up and really doing this. So all of this really boils down to fear right? Fear, fear, fear. So I just want to see um, if any of this hits uh, with people. Um, yes, what kind of offers? I post on Twitter. Fear being pushy, lack of time, fear. Awesome. Thank you guys for posting and sharing this, uh, the webinar. So many of you are answering me. Yes, yes, yes. So, you know, well, one of my clients, you know, decided to make an offer and had phenomenal results. She found a tube and within a few days, you know, got 3000 views and her inbox is literally been blown up, you know, with people requesting to, you know, want to work with her. And the only thing that was, that's different is that she made an offer. And what I mean by making an offer is an invitation to work with you, an invitation to have an experience with you. So the one thing that holds you back, if you guys have said yes to any of these, you know, blocks, the one thing that's holding everyone back is this, needing approval from the outside you know we we are afraid of being visible because we think that you know this person has to like us it's this needing approval from the outside right this 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 idea this notion that you know unless other people like me i'm going to die and it's really this fear right the fear that the ego thinks if you go out there and you fail you know you're going to die and that's what it does it protects you your fear is always protecting you with, with, with fear and you listen to it. This is the point where we give our power away. The moment we decide that our emotions are us, they are not you. You are not your emotions. But we give our, we give our power of decision, right? So you'll never get approval outside of yourself. You know, nobody out there can love you enough. It really comes from, it's an inside job. So I want you guys to just, you know, if you're ready to just cut this out, I want you to hold your hand up in the air, you know, hold your right hand up. And um, this right over here is your magic wand. Okay, I do this at speaking events. So hold your hand up and bop yourself on the head and say, I am ready. I am enough. I am ready. It's all happening. Give yourself permission that, you know, you right now exactly where you are. You know enough. You are enough. You have enough. And now your job is to start being in service to people, start making offers to people. And it's just a decision. It really is just a decision. So we also, you also have to understand that life is really just a decision and the decision comes from our mind, right? The only time we have a problem is when we make a decision that our problem is bigger than us. The only time we have a problem is when we make a decision that the fear or that the anxiety or that the low self-worth is really a problem and that that problem is winning. 
The only time we have a problem is when we make a decision by winning, that we're, we're at odds, we're being played like a puppet. We're so powerful, right? But we give our power away. And so I want to talk to you now about a mindset, uh, mindset, um, if you want. And this is really about commanding the mind. And, you know, most people think, you know, if you have any, if you're letting any of those issues stop you from being visible and making offers and really serving people, it means that you're disempowered and you've decided that. And that's the good news because if you decided that, you can make a new decision. And that's really all life is. So, you know, most people are running around and, you know, they're letting their mind run the show. And so the way to stop this, the way to cut this out is to make a decision and to command the mind. You must command the mind. So I don't know if you guys have ever watched Caesar Milan. Anyone ever watched that guy, the dog trainer? And, you know, he goes over to people's house. The dog is like absolutely unruling. It's peeing all over the place. It's rolling around. It's chewing the neighbor's thing. It's barking. It's, you know, attacking people in front of the couch. And Caesar goes over there and he's like, listen, guys, um, you know, your dog is crazy. And they say, well, yeah, that's why we had you over here. And he says, um, you know, well, you know, you're the, you're letting him be crazy. You're the reason he's crazy. They say, well, you know, this little dog just wants to be a little dog. And you've given him the power to run the entire house. And the dog feels your anxiety that you've given your power for the dog to run the whole house. And it's acting out. So what you need to do is you need to be the master, command the dog. And if you look at little dogs, the happiest little dogs are the ones that have a very strong commanding owner. And they command the little dog, shh, sit down, shh, be quiet, shh, right? I have a little dog. He's a great little dog. I tell him, shh, quiet. And, and so the problem is the same thing with the mind. You know, we're letting the mind run around like a rabid little dog instead of commanding the mind. Hey, shh, this is what we're doing now. Hey, quiet. I love you. Shh, this is what we're doing now. Right? And so there's a quote out there that says, you know, man's biggest problem is that, you know, man only suffers when he goes looking for answers in the mind. They don't come from the mind they come from god or source or spirit and the mind is always trying to pull you out using fear right you can't do that you're not good enough you're not ready yet who are you to charge that much oh my god and it pulls you out of your divine oneness it pulls you out of peace and being and having this and it moves you into turmoil so we're going to do a little mindset exercise right now to just help you take your power by decisions right now around your wealth your self-worth and your income so could you right now make a decision that you are actually bigger than whatever perceived problem is out there? You know, whatever reason you think, you know, is why you haven't made money if you're not ready yet or whatever, whatever reason or excuse you have out there, whatever feeling you have in your body, you know, when you think about your business and your income that is just not in alignment, it just feels weird. Can you make a new decision by saying yes right now that you are bigger than all of these problems? Can you say yes, that you are bigger than all of these problems? Can you make a decision right now that I'm the boss? I am the boss of me. I'm the boss. And just, you know, repeat that to yourself. I am the boss. Me. I am the boss. And now can you thank this problem for being in your life? Because what it's really doing is just knock, 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 showing you where you've given your power away. And it's just an invitation for you to take your power back and make a new decision because that's all it is. And take a big deep breath and just see if, you know, this problem is still so much of a problem or if it feels a little bit more, you can have your goal. If you should feel a little bit more empowered. We're just going for small little movements here. Small little transitions. So commanding the mind, right? Commanding the mind with new decisions. And I'm going to invite you all to make a new decision and share with me here, you know, in the comments box, what is your new decision around your business? What is your new commitment? Is it I'm attracting five new clients with ease this month? Is it I'm attracting 10K in income this month? Is it I'm, you know, I'm a sought after speaker? I'm getting lots and lots of comments here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So love this. I want I want to encourage you guys to, you know, make a goal statement, make a decision. What are you deciding around your business? Is it an income goal? I I allow myself to be confident and clear and have amazing sales conversations. What is your new decision around your business? You got to take your power back, 
have to make a new decision. Not let that mind spin you up. And Constantine is like, yes, I'm fed up with not being the boss. Yeah, awesome, guys. You are the boss. I am the boss. It'll help you just take your power back. All right, so I'm going to invite you guys to continue sharing those here. Uh, yourself. You know, when the fear and the doubt starts coming in, hey, shh, dog, shh, quiet mind. I love you. Shh, shh, quiet. And this is my new decision. We're doing this. And what that does, when you make a decision, what it does is it focuses your reticular activating system. We have this reticulator, reticulating activating system, reticular activating system in our mind. And it filters out what bits of information we're getting from the universe. So when you make a decision, you're commanding the mind to, hey, filter out of the seven trillion bits of information you're downloading every second to just get the ones that are gonna help me attract my goal. And that's how the mind works. You're not a victim, there's nobody else out there. It's you and your decision. So that's the first mistake people make with, you know, entrepreneurs make with their offers is that they don't make them and they let fear run the show. So take your power back, make a new decision and remind yourself whenever you find yourself spinning, shh, come back to this new decision and watch what shows up. The number two mistake entrepreneurs make with their offers is that they have, their message is weak and their offers are fluffy. Their messages are weak and fluffy. And, you know, oftentimes, you know, when you're starting out in business or, you know, you don't want to offend anybody, you want to push anyone away, but you really must become clear in your messaging so that you attract the right people to you. And, and you push away the wrong people. You don't want to work with everyone. I remember in my business when I first got started, I was working with um, people who weren't spiritual. Holy smokes, was that ever a huge you know, mistake? Because they didn't get my stuff, but I was so desperate for clients, and I would take them on, and then they wouldn't get results. And you know that happened because my messaging was not clear. And I was not clear about my ideal clients. So here are some things, here are some things to consider when you're looking at um, your message. You want to create, uh, you want to be selling painkillers. Think about this. You want to sell painkillers. You don't want to sell vitamins. So, you know, when people are ready to invest and take action with you, it's usually when they're in a lot of pain. And the problem with, you know, messages that I see out there, a lot of special lot of spiritual types are so fluffy and airy-fairy and farty-warty. You know, people are in some serious pain and you've, you've got to be able to language that in a way to engage them. They're not out there surfing the internet thinking, oh, you know, uh, I want to buy some, you know, I want to, I want to buy some borage oil because, uh, you know, I'm going to you know, have better health. They're like, listen, I got acne or I got eczema, eczema, how do I, so you must, you know, get into the pain points of your clients. Um, and, and use that almost as a way to, you know, to engage them into working with you. Um, if you're selling something that's not, you know, I know some people here on the webinar that are not selling, um, you know, coaching, consulting, what is the experience that you're, you know, selling? What, what, what's the experience? That's what you're selling. So oftentimes people don't know what is it actually selling. Oh, I'm selling coaching. They're like, no, you're not. You know, no one buys coaching. Okay, people buy being able to sleep at night because they have a baby that's been keeping them up. And you know they buy having sex with their husbands because you know they buy that's what they buy they buy time. So there's actually only ten things people buy and spend money on. And you need to have your message aligned with that if it's gonna really hit home. So here they are. I'm gonna write these down. Number one, people buy saving money, they buy making money, they buy save time, they buy love, they buy health, they buy not making a mistake or a mistake, and they buy Cleanliness. There's a few other ones, maybe three more, but those are the top seven. So saving money, money saving time, love, making mistakes, being cleanly. So, you know, a word of advice, you want to, you know, connect your message with that. And don't be very furious. I, I see this mistake happening all the time on well, myself. And I want to be unique, you know. And it's like, shit, when you just tell people you're a relationship coach, is that what you are? You know, tell people you're a weight loss coach. Tell people, you know, you're a sales coach. Whatever the heck it is you are. Just tell people, boom, straight out. And then talk about the problems. You know, I help my clients that have these problems get these results. That's it.
that's all you gotta do. So a simple way to help you with your messaging is um, blank to blank. I help my clients go from and then just start talking about a case study that you have with your clients. You know, my client came to me. I work with people who are, you know, having a hard time confident in sales conversations and just have confidence in the sense right now. They just, you know, they have this big mission to do the world and just don't know how to get out there. Some self work, you know, issues, and maybe they but you know, they. And I help them with clear strategies on how to uh, skyrocket and cash flow. So, so from this to that, from, from being fabulous, from broke, from excellent, and fabulous. Be simple, guys. Let it be simple. It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. And then, you talk about is the signature. You want to have a signature system. You need a signature system. Why? Because people buy signature systems. We buy systems in general. So if somebody comes to you running a retreat or you know you're running some kind of event to then before you obviously have a system on So if somebody comes to see you, they think to themselves, well, if you have a system and you can help me with that, if somebody else has come to you and had success with your system, I can too. So it's really important that you get your signature system. So think to yourself, like, what are the five or six steps that I take my clients through? And map those out. And when you talk to your client, Okay, I'm back here now. I don't know what happened, but it just kind of clicked off there for a moment. Okay, so I just want to make sure you guys can all still hear me here. Hopefully you can. I'm going to keep going. So um, the last part, the third problem people have is they don't, uh, third problem people make with their offers is that they put prices on their website. Big no-no, right? If you're a coach or consultant and you put prices on your website, it's a huge boo. I get a boo, right? Nobody will ever hire you because they'll automatically base their decision um, based on a price instead of what the cost is for not solving a problem. And they try and sell people on, you know, on thousands of dollars worth of coaching you know, off of a website. So you need a lot more touch points before that's able to, before anything is, is really able to solidify. So if you're struggling with sales, you know, if you're doing any of these three mistakes, it's really because you don't have a sales attraction system in place. You don't have a system in place to take people through and answer their objections in advance. And that's what people need to feel certain. You know, sales is really the act of helping people say yes to their own transformation. It has very little to do with you. And in order for them to do that, they really have to feel certain. And so what I teach my clients is how to have a system in place to do that. So how can you handle objections in advance? How can you weed out the wrong people and you know filter in the right people? So without a sales attraction system, it's a really dangerous place to be in because you're winging it, right? You're always trying to wing these sales calls. Um, and you know it flops it's like a hit or a mess so what would it be like for you if you were able to hands down 80% of the time close you know 80% of the sales that you have that's what a sales attraction system can do uh, and we cover that in depth in my uh, 10k and 30 day program so now I want to share with you um, you know one of my clients, I'll share with you just what she did with you know offers. We started working together. She came to see me. She was afraid of making offers from the stage. And um, this woman just did a phenomenal, just a phenomenal result. She made an offer on the stage. She you know made her coaching investment back within five days, and then she continued making offers and uh, filled up you know uh, 
140 people into her group coaching program with a profit of something like 40 something thousand dollars. I have another client um, who wanted to do a one day women's empowerment event, Sharon, and she came to see me and you know, how do I make an offer from the stage? I want to teach you that right now. This is exactly what I'm going to show you in the next part of the webinar. And um, you know, sometimes you just don't know how do you make the offer? Like what are the parts? What is like, how do you, how does it actually work? So I taught her how to make an offer and she filled the room with, again, it was 140 people and she had this amazing juicy women's journey event happened in Montreal. It was a huge success. She was invited to do it all over Canada States. It's completely transformed her business, moving from naturopathy into self-love and more coaching consulting and her goal was to, you know, teach in Costa Rica, and she spent the winter in Costa Rica this year, and uh, it, it was just a huge, you know, success for her. So making offers is really where everything starts. So here are two of my best and proven methods for generating ideal leads and converting uh, conversations into cash flow. So number one is to host a workshop. Number one is to host a workshop, and you know, do a um, do a two and a half hour talk. So you know, this is how I started my business. I would do workshops in my yoga uh, my yoga um, teacher's basement and make an offer. So you do like a two and a half hour workshop. You you teach a process or two your favorite processes. Teach some principles, and then at the end you make an offer. And the offer was a, a ninety seven dollar offer to have a breakthrough session with you. And you know you position your offer as you know normally I charge this much, but today it's only ninety-seven dollars. And you're also going to get um, some bonuses. So what I did is I give them my book and I gave them some audio bonuses. I did some interviews with experts and I packaged them up together. And you know I said that the total of this is eight hundred dollars. And tonight, you know for those of you who take action right now today, and it was always right now today. You know, you can um, get that breakthrough session with me for just ninety-seven dollars. I still, you know, sometimes do this in my business. I go out and speak at places, but it's only for today. And I tell people, you know, this is for action takers because you won't find this on my website anymore or you know, anywhere. I don't do this, but you know, if you call me up tomorrow and you say, "Hey, Vanessa, I changed my mind," it's too late. So you want to make an irresistible offer, and it has to have a limiter in it. Why? Because people buy. You know, based on fear of loss, over greed. It's just the way they work. So don't try and reinvent the wheel. It's not pushy. It's really helping people say yes to themselves. And if you don't make an offer, you're actually robbing people of the transformation that they could have with you. So um, do a workshop, a talk. You know, you're live in person. People get to know, like, and trust you. They get to see you. And then make an offer, a low barrier to entry, $97. Let's have this, you know, it's basically a mini coaching slash sales conversation. And then, so it's, a, it's an easy way for them to transition into your funnel. And then you have a conversation with them, you coach them a little bit, and then take them through a sales conversation and you know sign them up into one of your programs. So here's another piece of the puzzle that I teach my clients is having programs. You need to have um, kind of high price programs, whether you run a group coaching program or you have private one-on-one -on -one programs or maybe you're running retreats, you should always have three different offers for people, a low, a high, and a, you know, kind of like a PhD program, low, medium, and high program, and let your clients choose. So if you're looking to generate $10,000 next month and you have, you know, a $2,000, a $5,000, and a $10,000 program, well, look at it, you know, go from you know, if you if your income is you know if you want to generate ten thousand dollars next month, well, you only have to make five sales at two thousand. If you want to generate ten thousand dollars next month, well, you only have to make two sales at five thousand dollars. So if you break it down, then it gets really easy. And so you start to think to yourself, okay, well, how can I generate enough leads to have these sales conversations? Because that's that's really the name of the game, right? How many conversations is it going to take you to generate your income? So number one, always best way to generate leads is to speak, be visible. Just start with where you're at. You don't have to be Tony Robbins in order to be effective. Think about it. I'm not Tony Robbins. I have a great business. You just have to be willing to be you, be where you're at, show up and serve. That's all. I promise when you do that, God will send you all the right people. You just have to take the first step. So, because I know as soon as I start talking about, you know, workshop, everyone's like, I want to do it, but I'm terrified, right? So that's the first way. Um, 
And a common problem that people make with you know, speaking is that they're trying to sell their $3,000 or their $5,000 coaching package right from the stage. That does not work, right? It doesn't work. You know, when you're selling high-priced items, you know, anything over $500, you need to get on the phone with people. They have objections, and you need to know how to handle that. So um, the next thing, that the next way to generate leads and, you know, a next proven method to um, – to generating leads and, and conversations and cash flow is online. So offline, I have something called my workshop profit secret system that I teach my clients. It's how to generate your first 100K in coaching consulting by selling you know, your coaching from the stage uh, and really go in depth in that model. But the other way you can do it is to generate leads online. Generate leads online. So one of the ways that I love to generate leads is using this little thing called my iPhone. And it's so awesome. Uh, a lot of people are messaging me here about the webinar, but I don't want to get lost in here. So you take your iPhone, you boom, you hit a video just like this, okay? So you hold it like this in your hand. There's no fancy pants recording device. Um, there's no... You don't even need a microphone. You just hold this like this, and boom, you hit the record button, right? Boom, and you start a rant. It's a little video rant. Under three minutes is a great amount of time. And you know, you just start talking about the things that you notice, the things that you see with your clients. Maybe it's a case study. Maybe it's you know an, an issue that you keep you know seeing in your business, and you just be you're just willing to be real about what's going on, you know, really talk from your heart, be raw about it, maybe share a problem that you had, an experience, be vulnerable, be raw, be real, be relevant, you know, relate it to what is, how this is maybe impacting, you know, the viewer's lives or your client's lives. And then um, talk about the results they could get if they, you know, fix these problems. And then you want to make a call to action. And the call to action is, hey, I'm opening up some places in my coaching program. You know, if you're interested in getting these kinds of results, send me a private message and let's talk. I'm telling you, it's a super simple, you know, like it's not complicated. I'm a Capricorn. And I just want to get to the top of the mountain as fast as I can. My life has to be simple and easy. This is probably one of the simplest ways you can generate uh, leads. So listen to this. Here's a testimonial. Um, of somebody in my group who just did this method, uh, method just recently. She said, Aloha, ladies. Marina said, I have some really profound shared with you. I've been struggling making consistent cash flow in my coaching practice for years. Recently made a deep decision to follow through the commitment to take action in my business. Uh, Vanessa told me about the power making videos. I posted these videos a few days ago. It now has over 2,227 views and counting. It's over 3,000 views now. My inbox is full of messages every day with ripe clients who I'm booking into immediate sales calls with. I'm absolutely blown away with the results. Things are really changing rapido for me. I was able to increase my fees for the first time in months yesterday. I uh, finally sold a high ticket coaching program. I've never had so much fun on a sales call before. I'm so grateful for Vanessa. The system Vanessa teaches works. So get out there, be bold in your calls, take imperfect action perfectly, and watch your confidence and your cash flow skyrocket. She's like, well, now with my newfound comments, I'm thinking I can make 30K in 10 days. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, Vanessa. So, you know, the, what I love about making these offers with your video, with your camera, is that you can directly upload it to, um, to Facebook. It directly, boom, goes onto Facebook and it's big. People love videos. They start commenting. They start sharing it. And you're live. You're in person, right? So they get a feel for you. It's kind of like this webinar. And the other reason I really like doing these videos is that you practice making offers. You practice making offers, you know? And this is a mindset gem for you guys. Some people think that, you know, unless they're amazing and they're rock stars at it right away, uh, you know, they, they, they don't let themselves, you know, give themselves the time and space to learn this. So this is, a, you know, a new, a new tool. It's a new process. You know, you've got to give yourself the time and space to learn it, to become good at it, right? Give yourself that time and space. So it's, you know, doing the video is a great place to learn how to make offers, how to talk, you know, and, and you know, you'll see your video. You might not like it. Do it anyway. Just keep posting them. Do one a day. Uh, another offer you could do is posting something on your Facebook wall, just like I did here. Uh, you know, I'm considering 
offering a one-time training where I'll reveal to you my secrets or my methods for, you know, how I went from this to how I went to that. Um, and be really specific about, you know, your pain points before and your pain points after. And you guys can find that on my Facebook wall. You know, I'm considering hosting a one-time training where I'll reveal to you my secrets for how I went from stuck in a crazy job to, you know, living my dream here in Hawaii. And if you're interested, comment, I'm in below. And what that does is people start commenting and liking the post and it becomes a lot of social proof. And then right from there, you can generate an event, right? This is all about event-based marketing. You want to have an event. People, you know, want to come and interact with you and get an experience with you. So these are actually three ways, you know, on how to um, post and make offers. Number one, always, you know, in person. This is how I built my business. I decided after the mop job, you know, I was like, well, what happens if I would go out there and offer my coaching or consulting on a stage like I used to sell the mops? What if I use that same system and just, you know, turned it around a little and started selling my coaching consulting lo and behold it worked and now i teach it to my clients you know how do you get up on a stage and run a little mini workshop you only need 15 20 people in the room i'm telling you it works like butter uh, my first webinar my first workshop live workshop i made four thousand dollars with that very simple system so some of you might be thinking yourself yeah well that sounds really great vanessa you know you had a lot of practice you know i'm not there um you know I could, you know, I'd love to do that, but I don't know how, you know, here's this one little mind sh mindset shift that I want to share with you. And this will literally explode your results and your ability to take action, no matter, you know, how much fear procrastination has really been in the way. And I'm inviting all of you to experience this and to test this out and to prove this to yourself. So, you know, earlier I said, you know, people, people say, well, when I have the money, I'll do this thing. When I, you know, lose the weight, I'll attract the boyfriend. When I feel more confident, I'll launch the business. When I, you know, have my website right, I'll do the offers. But life doesn't work that way. Life works like this. It's my three-part system. Um, you make a decision, right? In Latin, it means to cut away from. In my mind, it means to, to kill off all other opportunities. You make a decision. Right? You decide. And you make a commitment, right? You make a decision, I'm gonna do this, and then you make a commitment, right? And the commitment, if you, again, wanna be spiritual, you wanna to go to India, you know, uh, you wanna see the Dalai Lama, you gotta buy a plane ticket, you know? The commitment is usually uncomfortable, it's a risk, it's, it's an investment, you know? Yeah, you wanna like walk and feel sexy, buy a new pair of shoes, and yet any woman will tell you, she puts on a new pair of shoes, and she's a whole other woman. Nothing happens until you buy the shoes, right? So there's a commitment in there. And from that, that moment, from when you make the commitment, boom, that signals universe, boop, 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 big red lights, you know, bring her everything she needs or him everything he needs, right? We get a live one, bring her all the clients, all the opportunities, that's how, and then the expansion happens. So the first part is to make a decision. You decide you're going to do that. You take your power back from the crazy ego mind that's pulling you out, right? With all the protecting you with fear, you make a new decision, you command the mind. Right, not we're doing this. Just you kill off all other opportunities, and you make a commitment. You commit. You know, I'm all in. Buy the plane ticket. Hire the mentor. Buy the book. Whatever it is, you know, you you go all in. You make the commitment. That commitment is the magic sauce right there. That's what creates everything else happening. That's what unfolds all the next, and you know, then the expansion happens. That's my three-part recipe for absolute magic in your life. I don't care if it's making $10,000 or $50,000 a month, moving to a new country, uh, you know, becoming a speaker, just having the success you want in your relationships. It starts with a decision followed by a commitment, and then the expansion happens. And try this. This is how life gets created. You really are masters. And, you know, why I believe that sales is a spiritual practice is that you know if you have this calling in your life to serve people and to share with them experience and your knowledge and you know your expertise you must get good at sales because nothing happens until the sale is made you can't impact people they can't have the transformation until the sale is made and it's a spiritual practice for me because you're faced with yourself there's the only thing you're faced with your fear, resistance, oh, not good enough, I can't charge that much. All of that 
It's just yourself. It's your own programs and stories. So, you know, if you make sales really about service, and that's really what it is, you know, no one can get the transformation until they, you know, until they say yes to it. What you're doing is you're learning the art of transformation. You're helping people say yes to their transformation. That's what sales is. And if you're not making those offers, you're robbing people of the transformation. That's the way I look at it. So you must come to your sales, come to your offers with, you know, this firm commitment that, you know, I'm, I'm showing up for you 100%. You know, I'm holding that door open for you. You've got to obviously walk through the threshold, but, you know, I'm totally here for you. I'm committed to help you, but I'm not attached. And you got to get really good at that, you know, and that's when, um, that's your job. You know, if God's put this in your heart, God's been knocking on your heart, and this is what happens. You know, knock, knock, knock. You know, knock, knock, knock. You get this call to do something, you know, to step out in a bigger way, to launch a coach or consulting business, you know, to leave your job or whatever it is. Knock, knock, knock. Right? People always ask me, well, how do I know it's the right thing? Well, you wouldn't be there, you know. You wouldn't have everything you need to answer that call if the call wasn't there in the first place. That's how I know it's the right thing for you to do. You just have to prove that to yourself. It takes trust. It takes courage to show up and say yes. I promise you, when you do, when you, when you, when you answer that call and, and commit to it, that allows the unfolding to happen. Otherwise, you shut the door and you stay stuck and it just keeps spinning. And what you're doing, because God, you know, source, spirit, universe, I don't care if you call it Abu Jabi, whatever you want to call it, all right? It gives us free will. We have the choice. You know, do I choose the higher self or do I choose the fear and the resistance? And, you know, do I choose the, the, the lower mind? And so you've got to take that one step. You've got to make the initial step. And then the unfoldment happens. So if God's been knocking on your heart, choose to say yes. It takes courage. Let go of the resistance. Show up and you'll see. Um, everything happens after that. And I'll share with you just a really quick story here. You know, I remember people asking, well, how did you really, you know, how did this whole mop thing go? And I remember, you know, being, uh, investing everything I had at the time. I had gone bankrupt. I didn't have a penny to my name. I had no credit. I bought myself a camper trailer and a minivan, invested about seven or $8,000. And I had $200 to my name and I blasted out across the country to get to the first store, which was a Sault Ste. Marie. And i uh, never driven, didn't even know how to undo the camper trailer when I got to the trailer park. I had enough money for gas and enough money to make it until my first paycheck, which was a commission basis. So, you know, if I didn't show up and sell, I was going to be in trouble. But I was like, well, here we go, you know, all in. <laughs> Made the decision and the commitment, bought all the stuff. And, you know, that year I became the highest salesperson in the company. And um, well, I started having my first $900 days and all Sears in Canada. So who's this Vanessa Simpkins mop lady? We want her in all of our stores and wrote the book about it uh, later that year. So, you know, uh, I was terrified. I didn't even, I didn't even have, you know, the, the minivan until, you know, 40 hours before that. Um, so, you know, there is so much power. There's so much energy that's locked up right behind that. Yes so much power there and it's terrifying and do it anyway so you'll be blown away so um you know the the principle that i want to share with you is that you know it is the right time for you to answer that call there'll never be a better time than right now and um i encourage you to you know to start looking at sales as a spiritual practice as that unfoldment as that showing up and really being of service in the world and you can use your authenticity. You know, in my first book, I talk about authenticity being the new currency in business today, and that's really what it is. You know, your story is is exactly what people want to hear. They, they they want to learn from somebody who's been there and who's done that. That it speaks volumes about you more so than even, um, you know, more so than even, uh, you know, somebody who learned something in school. You know, if you've helped your kids, you know, sleep better at night or you've helped your kids overcome ADD or, you know, you can teach other, other parents how to do that. It will pay you. People want, you know, expert help. And your authenticity, your story is really what engages them. So that must be part of your message. And it's why I really believe that authenticity is the new currency in business today. You know, I believe that God puts everyone in a pile of shit. There's your pile of shit. There you go. <laughs> you know, and how you get yourself out is your service to the world 
And uh, it's a perfect, so no matter where you are in the process, maybe you got one arm out, you know, maybe you're in the pile of shit, turn around, look around, smell it, enjoy it, be grateful for it because it's really um, your service is, is what it really, you know, boils down to. Um, so it involves taking risks and showing up and saying yes to yourself. And, you know, I want to invite you here um, into saying yes to your transformation. So, you know, with the things that I've shared with you here today, I just want to take, you know, a check uh, with everyone here on the webinar. Um, just message me here to see, to let me know what you've enjoyed, you know, so far uh, out of the webinar. What has been the, the most, what you found the most value in today, your biggest aha. And um, I also um, want to invite you, you know, into looking at, you know, implementing these things, making offers. We talked about, you know, three of the biggest mistakes entrepreneurs make with their offers. They're leaving thousands of dollars on the table, meaning they're not making any offers because they're letting fear in the mind take them out of it. They don't know how to get their marketing message clear. And uh, they don't really know how to structure offers, right? Or what to really do or how to do it. So I've shared with you here some techniques and some principles. And, I, and, and if you just implement these things, you know, and you look back on your life, you know, a year from today, you're going to have a drastically different business income and life guarantee. You know, if you start implementing this with the things that I've taught you here on this webinar, you will absolutely see outstanding results within a year guarantee you have to right? because action leads to results. Now, if you're somebody who would like to get these results much sooner, if you'd like to get results happening here within the next 30 days, you know, uh, tomorrow, next week, you know, you don't want to wait a year. If you'd like a time machine, if you'd like a way to speed up your results, then I'm inviting you here to connect with me and have a conversation with me about my 10K and 30 day program where I take entrepreneurs and we really get clear about marketing, messaging, branding. We get clear about your offers, your packages, and I show you really how to master the art of transformation and sales, how to overcome sales objections. And um, I'm opening up spaces in my program and I'm opening up spaces in my calendar to talk with you to see if you're a good fit for the program. And I don't know who you are. I don't know where you are in your business. Um, and all I can do is, you know, invite you into that transformation and see if it's the right fit for you. So if you would like a time machine, if, you know, the idea of hitting 20 or $30,000 next month in your business or 10K would be really great. Uh, and you're looking for help with, you know, implementing the sales attraction system with getting really clear if you're tired of farting around and spinning around in circles, then go to takeyourpowerbacknow.com forward slash 10K ready. Takeyourpowerbacknow.com forward slash 10K ready and apply there. Um, and, you know, who knows? We're going to explore to see if it's a right fit. I remember, um, you know, when I first got started in um, – coaching consulting my first mentor was like an eight thousand dollar investment and i did not have that money like i did not have the money at all uh, and at the time i was driving that shitty minivan you know i was making money in my business but i was driving a crappy minivan i had no credit and i it was like a thousand five hundred dollars a month and i was buying aluminum uh what do you call that i was buying uh this aluminum tape okay that you put on the minivan to tape up the rust and spray paint and I was, I was, in, I spent more money in my coaching than I did in my rent. And I was driving a crock box car, and uh, but it was okay, right? Because I had invested in myself. I had invested in a, in a recipe, in a formula, in a system, in a way to get out of the funk that I was in. And I was, you know, I didn't even know if I was going to make, you know, the next month's payment. But thankfully, I learned the systems, and um, my business has never been the same since. So. You know, just know that wherever you're at, you know, uh, there's a, a, a saying that says, you know, um, if your dreams don't scare the shit out of you, they're not big enough. And that's true. So, again, I'm going to invite you guys to um, join me uh, and celebrate your success. And uh, if you're ready to really, you know, get results, then go to takeyourpowerbacknow.com forward slash apply, uh, 10K ready. Takeyourpowerbacknow.com forward slash 10K ready and apply there. I will personally be screening the applications and um, maybe get back to you personally on the phone in the next little while, next few days. So this kind of ends the, the, the now portion of the, the teaching portion of the webinar. 
And um, I am actually going to honor my word and give away $2,000 worth of cash prizes to two people here that are live on the webinar. So I have a program, it's called my Workshop Profit Secret System. And it's basically, you know, how, what do you, how do you make a workshop? How, how do you design your curriculum? What do you teach? What do you say when you get on stage? How do you make a workshop flyer? What's the title? What's the headline? How, what do you put on there? How do you, you know, connect with joint venture partners to fill seats? How does that work? How do you get seats? How do you make an offer? How do you follow up? How do you accept payment? How do you do all those things? So that's my entire system for, you know, how to attract clients by doing little mini talks, workshop talks um, from this stage. And, uh, you know, I say it's valued at, you know, $997, $1,000 a program, but I mean, it's valued at so much more. It's really the in-depth, you know, system for how I um, started selling my coaching and consulting. And I teach it to my clients. Um, so... <clears throat> I want to gift two of these to uh, participants here, and I will check here in the Hangout because I'm not seeing all of a sudden the little messages here on the side. I don't know what happened to them. Enhanced links. I don't know where they are. Chat. Oh, maybe that's it. Um, so I will take a look, and I will send two people uh, access to the Workshop Profit Secret System. In my books, it's worth way more than $1,000, but um, I will give two of those away. And um, questions, live questions here. If you have them, please post them in the chat box. I am going to see if I can kind of log back in here on the webinar because <clears throat> I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing the live Q&A. So let me do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, just give me one second, guys. I'm going to go and something happened here with the, um, 